Welcome everyone to the Moisky News for June the 7th, 2021. Today we're going to be talking about the glamorization on social media of illegal immigration, along with consequences that the current Home Secretary would like to introduce. Before we start, on Saturday I hosted a political recap stream on this channel. That stream has been audiorifically sexified, one of those is not a word I know, maybe both actually and is now on Spotify. If you're at all interested in listening to us prattle on there, please consider doing so. It shall be linked as a pinned comment down below. So Kent County Council has reached a bit of a breaking point when it comes to the vast number of those illegally crossing the channel to live within the utopia that is England. This is England, utopia, right? As I reside within Kent, I take great interest in what the government is and is not doing to tackle this issue. Hell, on a bike ride last year during the summer, I saw two boats cross the channel to where I was, standing on top of the cliffs, watching these people disperse like bugs who are first introduced to a flame. Because of Kent's location within the United Kingdom, and the channel crossing being on the edge of the Garden of England, we bear the brunt of new arrivals, which puts a considerable amount of pressure on the county's resources. It has gotten to the point that Kent County Council has decided they are getting sick and tired of this, and are launching a judicial review with the attempt to be to force the Home Secretary Priti Patel to disperse youngsters across the UK when they arrive. Doesn't really solve the problem of course, but we'll get to why in a moment. There are other reasons as well, but there's an obvious one. And just to give this some scope, over the most recent bank holiday, 50 minors, children that is, made the cross, the vast majority of which were themselves young ladies, which has local authorities nervous because they firmly believe these young girls were and are being brought here to the United Kingdom for use, abuse and ownership by older men. Take a wild, wild guess where that dark path goes. If your first thought was Rotherham, you'd be right. Kent's Corporate Director of Children's Services, Matt Dunkley, told the Sunday Times, We are at breaking point. Underneath this, there is a humanitarian crisis involving traumatized young people who deserve the best support. And we are being forced into a standoff with the government over their care and well-being. So why is the government not acting as much on this as they should be? Well, there's a bit of a theory on this, and it actually comes down to the 2019 general election, where the Conservative government under Boris Johnson were able to break the Labour Red Wall in the North. So they believe that the Conservatives are unwilling to send these children elsewhere around the country for fear they might well become Labour voters. And Kent is quite conservative. So stay here, where the peasants are, because they'll totally want you here, not integrating in the slightest, creating additional little communities. Yeah. More recently, Pretty Patel has taken action against social media giants like Facebook and TikTok, more notably for videos that have been shared on their sites or platforms. These videos show travellers from Calais to Dover on those dinghies. These videos have been seen over 800,000 times on TikTok, which isn't much for flex on TikTok. Pretty Patel asked the internet giants to put an end to the exploitation of the platforms by criminals involved in organised immigration crime, as more people are making the incredibly dangerous journey across the channel, to the point where we have a nice little collection of boats. This little collection of boats. This is from this year. It is believed that trafficking gangs are using the sites, which includes YouTube and Instagram as well, to advertise illegal boat crossings, as well as visa services and fake passports. In her letter, she also said, posts which promote and even glamorize these lethal and illegal crossings either by boat or in the back of lorries are totally unacceptable. What these posts and adverts do not mention are the people who have died trying to make this crossing, or those forced to spend 13 hours in unseaworthy boats in freezing waters. These adverts directly lead to loss of life, and I implore you to do everything in your power to quickly and proactively remove posts related to illegal crossings before more men, women, and children die in the channel or on other illegal migration routes. Now is the time to act before it is too late. Now, as these sites are quite prone to blocking many different types of media, let's say stuff that questions Corona Chan or the 2020 US presidential election. You'd think that they would act on this and do something about it, but they won't. They really won't. This year alone, 
4,300 migrants, illegal migrants, have arrived in the UK, with over a 1,000 in the past week. The annual total is expected to exceed 8,400 in 2020. It was reported yesterday that the border agency, which Priti Patel is responsible for, did in fact escort a number of migrants, illegal migrants, to enter the UK after the HMC Valiant, a Navy ship, picked them up in French waters and took them to Dover. I believe they were the ones being pushed by the French across the line. They'll happily take our fish, but they won't take the people still in their country. And I do want to add to that, current President Emmanuel Macron's government will only intervene if the migrants making the cross ask for help. Until then, they're more than happy just to let them go. Kent, like the rest of the United Kingdom, has a housing shortage. With what's been happening with sheeple crowd control, we still don't have the homes to, let's say, expand to match the growing population. A population that is being expanded by people who they're not also sending back, because they can't. They don't know how to resolve this. My view is make an Azkaban and have Dementors suck their souls out. But that's just me. As we're done with this, I do want to know what you all think though. So please do let me know in the comments down below. I hope you'll have a fantastic Monday. Thank you all very much for listening. <laughs>